How's it going Cody? YouTube here with another YouTube video and in today's video we are going to be checking out PIM Eyes. Now for those that don't know what PIM Eyes is, it's probably one of the scariest websites on the clearnet. It is a reverse image searching tool that is mainly tailored towards uh, facial recognition um, and yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's really scary stuff. Like you could take a photo of anyone and I'll find pretty much every single photo that is a picture of them and link it to websites. Now, PimEyes is free in a sense that it will find other photos and just validate that these photos do exist elsewhere on the internet, but it does not allow you to actually go to the source where that image is found and such like that. But in this video, we are actually be paying for the premium subscription to PimEyes and you will catch, I guess you'll see live my firsthand experience using PimEyes and uh, maybe I will have some follow-ups later on. Uh, just some things I'm able to do with PimEyes uh, after unlocking that subscription service. So without further ado, let's get on my screen and see what this website's all about. Okay, so like I said, um, PimEyes is definitely one of the scariest websites I have ever used personally um, because it is insanely accurate compared to Yandex and Google reverse image search, or I guess Google images and um, Tenai. So I kind of, if I was to do a, a ranking of facial recognition, um, as far as reverse image searching goes, Tenai is absolute last place, then Google images, then Yandex, then PimEyes. PimEyes is like on a new, like a whole different level. Um, now, unfortunately, of course, I try filming this video and everything seems to not work for me. So I was trying to show you PimEyes uh, from a free perspective because it does give you images. Um, it does give you images, but it doesn't give you the links to where you can get those like images where it's being hosted. Uh, but I guess I already hit my free limit and that free limit <laughs> is by uh, IP address, I guess, because uh, I tried opening this up in a... Um, well, I tried opening this up in Tor. Tor is not working for me right now for some reason. And a uh, private browser, so it's definitely not cookie-based. So I think it's IP-based, um, which kind of sucks. So I'm just going to go ahead and pay for it. So if you want to try this out at home, uh, just go to PimEyes.com and just upload some photos. And, um, yeah, you'll be... Like, just take a random photo of you. It could be anything. And they will match you up, like pretty quickly it's kind of it's really scary like you could probably take my face right here screenshot it and upload to pim eyes and you'll find photos of me <laughs> it's really scary uh okay so um since i can't do the free stuff i'll just leave that up to y'all to do that yourself i'm just gonna go ahead and pay for it um now i could do protect that is how much i make per month a little bit less than what i make per month on youtube i make about a hundred bucks a month about 90 bucks a month on youtube uh, so that 80 bucks is really going to be hit my YouTube budget, AKA if you're looking for, uh, to, to sponsor some of my videos, contact info down below, go ahead and do that. Okay. So, uh, obviously we don't need DMCA and GDPR takedown. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to buy access for the 30 bucks a month. Um, now the 30 bucks a month does get you one month access, 25 premium searches daily. So <laughs> you better use those searches. Like if you plan on doing this as a non-hobbyist, you should definitely be using your searches wisely. Unlimited or unlocking results. So that means you can actually see where these images have been found. Up to three PIM eyes alerts and basic support. I don't see anything in here relating to an API. There might be an API. That would be pretty cool. But um, I think just for our use case, we're just going to stick to the 30 bucks a month. And actually, what I'm going to do is uh, if you join my Discord server, I'll do a giveaway and I'll pay for a month of PIM eyes for someone. I think that's pretty easy. Usually I do giveaways for uh, ILF. Instant Lives Foundation, and I usually donate like 20, 30 bucks to them. But uh, in this case, I could do 30 bucks pretty easily. So um, check it out down below. Um, click on all the links. I have some um, Amazon affiliate links. So if you want to buy my camera, my mic, my that, this, that over there, uh, I got some links down below for all that. So, okay. So let's go ahead and do this. So I'm going to insert a burner email because I just don't need it out there. And... 
I am going to do, I'll blur out my address, even though y'all probably can find where I live fairly easily. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use the privacy app. So uh, I'm not endorsed by privacy or anything like that, but you can make a burner um, credit cards or debit cards, and it links up to your bank account, and you can make like one-time burner uh, cards or you can make like a, a card where it's like you could set a limit to every month so like when i pay for a subscription for something uh that's 10 bucks a month i can cap it at you know 11 dollars, and it won't charge over 11 dollars. it'll decline that transaction which the reason why you want to do this is if there is a data breach and the company that's processing your information is not pci compliant or they just suck at what they do um and they could also probably be pci compliant in that case um your main credit card is not associated in that breach and you can just kill that card if it is ever breached or something like that. So it's a nice way to, um, I guess, compartmentalize your credit card stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and create a burner account, single use, and then it gives me a card number, uh, which I'm not going to blur this out because you can't use it. Uh, 5701-3897-0282. And then month expiration 0927 CVC uh, is going to be 983. And zip code, I will blur that out. So tax is three bucks. Uh, and I'll put a spend limit of uh, 35 bucks. Um, okay, so 3308 is what I will pay. Let's get that money, I guess, whatever. All right, I've been charged 3308. Let's see what happens from here. I paid for it. Cool. So we create an account. All right, so I'll create uh, an account right now. Why not? Make that password uh, stupid long. If it will allow me. Yes, yes. Do not want your uh, marketing stuff. Create and save now. Cool. Payment successful spent money on this okay so 25 premium searches um let's see what else we have here we have alerts uh so we get three alerts i think if i was to upload a picture of myself um i could get an alert anytime my image shows up online somewhere i think that's kind of cool uh, i think protect uh do you want to hide photos containing your face from being displayed on search results so this is the one where you could do dmca and gdpr takedowns um, and you can block yourself from being shown on PIMI. So, uh, if you're like, a you know, clandestine, not clandestine, but if you're like an FBI agent or, you know, you don't want your image to be on PIMI's, uh, because I'm now displaying this very powerful tool, I would highly encourage you to have your employer pay for the 70 bucks a month. Uh, just saying, uh, I'm not sponsored or anything by PIMI's just saying, um, let's see, erase me DMCA takedowns. Okay. Personal data, uh, personal details, country, phone number, upload a photo of yourself and photo of your signature. So you might be able to remove your signature from online or from pin my search. That's kind of cool. Uh, but let's just get straight to it. So I'm a fan of a couple things. I'm a fan of checking where I'm at on the internet and checking where, uh, wanted, uh, criminals are, I guess. So we're going to take this guy right here. I don't know who he is, but we're just going to see what happens on Pim Eyes. Um, typically, when you go on Pim Eyes without paying, it gives you, like, other images of them or of people. And uh, then it will show you, like, yeah, those other images, but it won't give you the link. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to screenshot myself on OBS and see what the results are. Okay, so you see that? Okay, that's me. I just took that, and we're going to upload that and see what Pim Eyes can do. Oh man, this is one. This is one search result I get uh, out of twenty five per day. Look at that, man! Oh my lord, <laughs> that was literally just. <laughs> those are all me. Those are all me. Um, so we'll go ahead and take a look. Uh, take a look at this one. So open website. The hell. Oh, this is on my old, uh, my old, uh, Reddit. Oh, that's so crazy. <laughs> that's my old GTR right there. 
Oh, <laughs> this is nuts. <laughs> this is literally all. What is this folder thing? This is nuts. <laughs> this is the GTR meat that I put together. Oh, no. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, I love that. That is nuts. Okay, so that was... <laughs> I've never heard of folder. Um, yeah. So there's that. You saw me. I just took that photo. I just took that photo and it found me. And I was making a face. Okay, so now we will take a wanted criminal by the FBI. Let's see. We're probably just going to get... Yeah. God. <gasps> so everything FBI related with this guy. And I figured the FBI would... Um, use pem eyes to find this guy like it, it doesn't surprise me that we're not getting any other results other than like fbi wanted stuff but as you can see we are getting a ton of results like now we're getting these guys which i know they're searching for glasses and stuff like that um but that's just not as nutty and it's like it's even down to like the beard like color texture like that is naughty like i oh my lord but oh let's try this one let's try this photo right here so this is going to be png so we could just drag and drop that um m2 okay go back here and because we don't have the glasses i feel like the glasses really ruin it um and we will just drag that in here Let's see. This is nutty. Okay, so we're going to get a bunch of, of the dude's mugshot. We're not mugshot, but the photo of him being wanted. And I think um, these other photos are going to be these. So we got that one, that one, that one, and then that one. Okay. So we will keep going. Lower score results. interesting I don't think it's that guy right here um okay so that's the end of the results damn I knew the FBI would use this and I'm not expecting to get anything out of this by searching this guy especially f with photos like that um let's see what else what else can we do what else can we use pim ice for I got I got this access right now um Hmm. Let's let's try something else. Let's try instead of faces. No, okay, okay. So we can do faces. Um and it can actually do groups of people as well. Um which is pretty cool. So oh like which person did you want to search and you can select them, which I will do um let's go on to Kashi 69s and So we will take a 69 right here. I don't know how this dude is not in jail right now. I don't know what what my thing is with six nine. Maybe I could do the baby. We could do the the baby. Is that a thing? Is that his name? The baby. Okay, the baby. Um, here we go. The baby and fifty cent. Oh, and we got featuring <clears throat> K K Kilo. Okay, we'll do K Kilo, and uh, we will do. M2, and we'll just go to videos and pictures and drop her in there. Maybe upload photo and M2 and videos. And I should definitely have a single folder for all of this and 50 cent uh, and the baby and this little little K. Okay, so you can see right here we have the baby and 50 cent. It recognized those two. So it did not recognize um, K kilo k kilo we think k kilo it did not recognize her um but we will do the baby it's a more recognizable face it's gonna load up a bunch of results without a doubt so <clears throat> there you go there's the baby right there let's go yeah maybe i'm out of touch i don't know so you can see we got that right there. Multiple people is able to pick out those faces. But I want to try one more thing. Um, and I don't think this is what 
Pim Eyes is known for, for lack of better terms. And that is going to be things like animals. I don't know why you would need, or not animals, sorry. We'll do a, a Tiesto concert. So we'll drop that in there. There's no picture, no faces found. Okay, so that is that is what I thought would happen. There's It, it only works if there are faces in the photo. So it does not work well for like stuff like that, this uh, Tiesto photo right here. Like, it doesn't work. You would use something like Yandex Images for this photo. So you go to Yandex, you drag and drop this photo <clears throat> into here, and that not did not work. Uh, you'll go here, and then, then you drag and drop <clears throat> the Tiesto image, and then it will more than likely find the same exact photo elsewhere, the same exact photo over here. But the thing is with Yandex, it is free. Um, but let's now test the uh, baby alongside <clears throat> the uh, the PIMI search. So we get this right here. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Um, let's do well. Okay, well she has it somewhere in here. Uh, it's obviously not the same photo, but I think it is reading the word fifty cent somewhere in the photo. I don't Pimize only seems to work on faces. So I will drop one more thing. I just want to see if animals work. It may or may not work with animals. It seems to work with animals. This is a picture of my cat, Leo. Okay, so Pimize, <laughs> Pimize does not work well with uh, animals. It tries to detect uh, human features, which in this case seems to be my cat's eye. Uh, and it gave me results for uh, things that are not even remotely close. So don't use Pim Eyes for uh, animals and stuff like that. So yeah, that's that's just a brief look into Pim Eyes. I, I didn't intend for this video to be um, anything useful. I just wanted to give everyone kind of a look into what Pim Eyes is. Um, let's take alerts out, though. Um, I think I can get a couple. So... Mm, I think if I do, uh, if I drop my face down again, I will do an alert. I think I could set up an alert. So deep search alert. So send alert entitled my alert, notification settings, images for monitoring, set alert. Alert saved. So if we open this, we will get pretty much an alert um, anytime my face shows up on the internet. So pretty useful. There is a very good use case for this, um, especially if you're doing like executive um, personal protection and stuff like that. I would definitely subscribe to something like this and then protect, obviously. Um, you could do uh, DMCA, GDPR uh, takedowns and stuff like that. But anyways, that is it for this video. If y'all enjoy content like this, please hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button with the bell notification enabled so you can get notified anytime I post a new video, which we kind of have a Google Earth uh, collaboration possibly uh, coming up in the very near future, hopefully. One of my Discord moderators, Gara, uh, which if you want to join the action down in my Discord server, link is down below. Uh, you will get greeted by... Uh, one of our lovely greeters, greeters and training and stuff like that. So anyways, that's it for this video. Y'all take care. Goodbye.